Hello, today I've got three different forms of water for you to think about. This snow all around me is solid water. And I've got some liquid water here for my kettle. Because it's kind of chilly out here today and I want to make some hot chocolate. Speaking of hot chocolate, it looks like my water is boiling. Because I've got a big cloud of water vapor here in the air coming from the kettle. So right here we have water in the solid state, the liquid state, and the gas state. I'm sure that's no surprise to you, but how exactly can water exist in three different states? To explain that, we're going to need particle theory. Particle theory, or the particle model of matter, can be summed up in four very simple statements. One, all matter is made of tiny particles. These particles are much too small to see without the use of powerful magnifying technology. Two, the particles have spaces in between them. That amount of space can vary and the explanation for that will be clear in a minute. Three, the particles have energy and are always moving. Four, adding heat energy to particles makes them move faster. This key fourth point of particle theory helps us explain why substances like water can exist in different states. But before we explore how a single substance can change state, Let's look at how particles behave in solids, liquids, and gases. When we take a close look at the particles of a solid, we see the particles are barely moving and fixed in position. Because the particles do not change position, solids have a definite shape and volume. Now, if we take a close look at the liquid state, we can see that the particles have a bit of space between them, enough for the particles to slide past one another. Since the particles can change position, liquids have the ability to flow. Lastly, if we take a close look at gas, we can see the particles are moving around freely. They have plenty of space between them, and the particles move completely freely, so if their container was not closed, they would fly right out. So gases can flow, and they can also expand rapidly if allowed to do so. This brings us to the question, how does a substance change from one state to another? For example, this boiling water is changing from liquid to gas. Why? The answer is heat energy. Adding heat energy gives particles more kinetic energy. If a particle has more kinetic energy, it moves around faster. To prove this, let's take a close look at water particles while they are being heated. Here we have two containers of water, and we can see by the movement of the particles they are at the same kinetic energy. But on the left, we are going to turn on this flame and heat the water and watch closely to what happens to the particles. They begin to move faster as they gain kinetic energy from the added heat. As the heating continues, the particles move faster and further apart and some of the particles gain so much energy they shoot out of the container. The liquid water is changing state into a gas. So now you know all four aspects of the particle model. Hopefully it helps explain why substances exist in different states. <laughs>